Hey guys and welcome back to The Walking Dead. I'm so sorry that it's been so long since my last one. Obviously I had to have a break from my channel. Um, and last week I didn't really get a chance because I was doing a lot of things. Um, and some of which was regarding this channel as well. Um, at the minute the priority for my channel is Game of Thrones. And trust me, when I get more followers, like in my Walking Dead, it will grow up and grow up and grow up. But... I apologise for how little videos I've been doing really for this, but I'm back anyway. It's going to carry on one a week and the day will still be on a Friday. Um, so yeah. Anyway, so what happened last time? That guy, I can't remember his name. He turned up just when the camp needed someone really, I'd say, because they were all in the wrong way dying. So, yeah, I'm interested to see what happens next. I don't know what this episode's called, but I'm sure I'll find out. Anyway, enjoy this reaction, guys, and, yeah, here we go. Thank you. I wish there was another word. Audition makes it sound like we're some kind of a dance troupe. That's only on Friday night. I totally wouldn't trust anyone, like, given the fact there's a fucking apocalypse. Mind you, they've got, they've got nothing. They've got nothing left, so what's to lose? You all would make valuable additions. But it's not my call. Each panel in that wall is a 15 foot high, 12 foot wide slab of solid steel framed by cold rolled steel beams and square tubing. Sounds like a fucking conference. They're trying to promote a new product. Our community was first constructed. What the fuck? All right, Rick, calm down, mate. I'm not a massive fan of Rick. I, I know that he does everything for the best, but sometimes the power gets to him. And I think a lot of people think that as well. I get that he's a sound guy, but there's other people out there that I think handle the apocalypse better. That's just my opinion. God, I'm dreading the comments. <laughs> no matter what I say, you're not going to trust me. Well, it's hard to trust anyone who smiles after getting punched in the face. How about a guy who leaves bottles of water for you in the road? So that was him? enough to see that you practically ignore a pack of roamers on your trail long enough to see that despite a lack of food and water you never turned on each other maybe she doesn't die maybe she gets sick maybe you're the only one that can help her and i just lose i'm the only one who can help her because i have Alzheimer's. and we hope it fucking eat it my mom used to make me eat foods i didn't like to make me more bandwidth Salmon patties, applesauce, and onions. She was a very confused woman who tried her damage. I just bring the jar to show that we have apple trees nearby. Like you said, you'll be the first to go. <sighs> Guys, I really don't know what to think here. We can find a place for you to live where... Even when she cries, no one, nothing can hear it outside the walls. Whoa. Now, one step closer, asshole. Walkers, thank fuck for that. Oh. Handle a walker any day. This barn smells like horse shit. That's probably because Aaron shitted himself. No. You listening to us? Hey, I already said I was watching you. Yes, I was listening to you. That's how I know people could have one too. They could have heard our plan. This is insane. Oh, fuck that. No, no. Stop. Shit. Uh. I don't 
Lucille. No. They're gone. They got away. All right, we'll still come back and find them. Let's go. You okay? Yeah. I would absolutely shit myself if I was in that car. Oh. We need to leave now. Hold on. Who did that? I need to leave. This is over. Put me out. It's over. It's going on. Let me out. Did you see that? Come on, Glenn. Fuck. J. Oh. I'm interested to know, guys. Yo, that is cool as fuck. Whoa. Jesus. No, I'm interested to know. Would you guys, would you have trusted Aaron at this point? Because I'm 50-50 and I really don't know. I like Maggie too. It's not a big deal. I'll just go to the infirmary when we get back. Wait, are they a couple? Whoa, yes they are. Whoa, okay. Is this the first gay couple in Walking Dead? I'm sure it is. While I was waiting for you, I searched through the neighborhood. I found theft. Oh! Abraham. Look. Eyes on the road, champ. Oh, shit. How much longer we got? Looks like we're a little over halfway there. Why? We can make it. We can make it. They're not gonna make it. <laughs> oh, look, there you go. What's he doing? Whoa! I did not expect that! Mind you, having said that, he'll probably need that in a couple of episodes time. That baby is so adorable. Right guys, there you go. Um that episode was alright, it weren't the best. Um 
I do trust Aaron, and I think... Is, it, is his partner's name Eric? I think, now my theory is, that Eric is going to die soon. And the reason why I'm thinking that is because Aaron seems like a really good, decent guy. And I think once you take Eric away from him, he could go on a bit of a rampage. Um, the same as, like, Maggie and Glenn. Like, say, like, if Glenn lost Maggie... He would fucking lose his nut. Um, so, yeah, like, relationships is a dangerous thing when it comes to The Walking Dead. Especially when you look at um, Rick. I forgot his partner's name now. Oh, my God, it'll come back to me later as well. Um, but, yeah, just relationships. It's always scary in The Walking Dead. And I've got a feeling things are going to go wrong soon. But hey ho, they're at this new place, Alexandra or Alexander or something. And it, yeah, we've not seen inside it yet, so there could be more to it than that. But that episode, as I say, it was a good one. Not the best, but not the worst. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Let me know what you think. Give me a like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. And yeah, just uh, yeah, see you next time, I guess. Bye.